If you're trying to learn or get better with video editing, I got you covered today. CapCut is an easy to use and powerful editing software. It has all the essential tools you need to be able to start editing high quality videos. In this tutorial, you'll learn everything you need to know to go from a complete beginner to an expert user with CapCut. We'll cover everything from the basics to some of the mind blowing features that will for sure take your edits to the next level. So let's get right into it. First of all, if you don't have CapCut yet, you can download it on CapCut.com. And if you want to try the pro version completely for free, you can use the link in the description below. So when you first open up CapCut, this is what you'll see. You can come to new project and then this is the interface that you'll see. The interface is simple. Left side is the media panel. So this is where all your media goes. You have the library where you can find different resources and assets. There's the audio library. You can add text, stickers, effects, transitions, as well as filters. We will go over in details later in the video. So in the middle is the preview window. To show you an example, I'll just add the clip here, import and drag the clip onto the timeline. This number on the left side is exactly where your playhead is. And this number on the right side is the total length of your clip. And to preview the video, you can press play button or you can press space bar. And if you want to see it in full screen, this is the button that you can press. So on the right side, the panel here is where you can have different settings and adjustments you can make to your clip. And lastly, on the bottom, this is your timeline area. So next, I'll show you how to import your footage. So to import your footage, you can come here to import and click the plus sign. Simply add the file this way. Or if you prefer, you can just drag and drop the file onto here. And to add the clip onto the timeline, you can come here, press the plus sign, add to track. That's one way. The other way, you can just drag and drop onto the timeline. And let's say you just want to add the partial clip onto your timeline. You can actually come here, adjust this and drag this. When you import a file, CapCut automatically adjusts whether it's a horizontal video or it's a vertical video. So this example is a vertical video, but if you need to change the aspect ratio, this is where you'll come to change it. If you create long form YouTube videos, it would be 16 by nine. And for short form videos like Instagram Reels or TikTok, that would be nine by 16. So when you have your clip on the timeline, you can come here and click zoom to fit timeline and it will fit nicely on your screen. To zoom in more, you can just toggle on this to the right side. You can use the on-screen control here to adjust the position of the video. And also if you need to expand the video, you can just drag this upwards. Or if you prefer, you can just click the video and come up to scale. If you scale this up, this is going to be zoomed in. And if you adjust the position, this is the X axis, which is the horizontal axis. And this is the Y axis, which is the vertical axis. So if you increase this, it will move the placement upwards. And to revert this to the original positioning, you can just change this to zero, change this to zero, and change this scale back to 100. And to rotate the clip, this is where you can rotate. All right, next we will go through the editing basics. To make cuts, you come to the timeline and you press B for the blade tool. You can either aim with your mouse to make the cuts, or you can simply drag the playhead to the area that you want to make the cuts and come here to the timeline and just click this. And this will split the clip as you can see. Move the playhead to the area that you want to cut. Come down here, click on the clip. And what you can do is press A to select this part and come up here to delete the clip. Another way to trim the clip is to come to the beginning or the end, and then you can actually drag the clip inwards. And this will also cut the clip and this works on both ends. So if you want to make this shorter, you can simply just drag this inwards and that will also make the cuts. If you want to change up your keyboard shortcuts, you can come up here to shortcuts. And the one that I like to change is when you go to basic and instead of delete, I like to change it to D. So that way I can, you know, do most of the cutting um, on one hand. So the next thing I want to go over in the timeline is when you turn this off, which is the main track magnet. So what that does on the timeline is that your clip won't automatically snap to the beginning so that you could freely move it. So let's say you want to leave some space in the beginning. So let's say you want to add some text here. This is one way that you could do so. But for the most part, I like to leave this on so that it automatically snaps in the beginning. And then this button is the auto snapping. When it's turned on, your clips will automatically like snap to each other. When it is turned off, they won't automatically snap to each other. So for me, I always like to turn this on to avoid any overlapping or any gaps in between the clips. Okay, so let's say you want to speed up your video. All you gotta do is select the clip, come up to speed, and this is where you can speed up the video, or slow down the video. And let's say you want to add another layer onto the clip. All you gotta do is just drag and drop it onto the timeline. So that's your second layer. And let's say you want a third layer, you can just drag it onto the timeline. And then you can adjust the size here on the on-screen control and also adjust the position and where you want to place it. Same thing for the other layer. You can just use the on-screen control here and then move it anywhere that you want. 
And let's say you have multiple layers and then you want the CapCut icon layer to appear on top of everything. All you got to do is come up to the right side, scroll all the way down. And here with layer, you can select the number. And then when you select two, it will come on top of the other layer. So one of the most often used effect is the slow zoom effect. I'll show you how to do it. Come to the clip that you want to do the slow zoom on. Drag the playhead to the beginning of the frame. Come up here to scale, add a keyframe and then come to position, add another keyframe and drag the playhead to the last frame of the clip. You can either drag this by the playhead or you can actually press the down key on your keyboard. And then you want to press the left arrow to go one frame backwards. And here is where you can come up to scale and increase this to let's say 110% and we'll drag the playhead to the beginning and then you'll see the effect. How to get things that appear behind you in CapCut for free. So that's how you do the slow zoom. And here's a couple things you need to know. On the timeline on the left side, the eye icon here is to disable track. So when you click it, this whole track is disabled. The lock icon here locks the entire track. So then if you're afraid to mess up, you know, this track or don't want to make changes to it, you can use the lock icon to lock the entire track. Next, we're going to talk about adding text to your video. Adding text in CapCut is super simple. Come here to the top to text and just click the add to track button under default text. And you can drag your text to anywhere that you want. Place it in the beginning of this clip. This is what we do. You can expand this to match the length of the clip. And this text box is where you can write the text. You can choose a different font here. You can adjust the size of the font and you can adjust the style here. If you want bold, italic, and if you scroll down, you can also choose one of these preset styles. So these are all presets available for you to use. And if you want to use a custom font, you can download it on any website, download it to your computer. And then all you got to do is just come up here and scroll all the way down where it says system font. And this is where you'll see your system's font. Let's say you want to use a color picker, select this, and then you can pick anywhere on your screen to pick the same color. So let's say if you want to match the color of the shirt here, simply pick that color and then your text will be matching with the same color. So next I'll show you how to add animation to your text, select the text, come up here to animation and here you can see all types of animation that you can add to your clip first you want to select the in animations and to show you an example let's go with the slide up how to get so on the clip here you see this little arrow on the clip that indicates the in animation and what you can do is you could adjust the duration to be longer how to get things that people or shorter okay so that's how you adjust the duration and for the out animation, it's the same thing. All you got to do is come to out and you can select one of these to apply to as the out animation. Let's select slide right. So that will be the out animation. And again, here you can select the duration of the slide out animation. So let's say you want to select 1.5 second. This is what it will look like. Okay, so that's how you speed up or slow down the animation. Okay, next up, I'll show you how to adjust the audio of the clip. So when you want to adjust the audio, you can select this clip and then under audio, this is where you can adjust the volume to be higher, to be lower. You can also add in the fade in or fade out. So let's say you want to adjust the you know, audio clip in this video. You can come here, right click, click on extract audio. And this is how you can separate the audio from the video file. And when you want to combine them back together, just select them, right click and just create compound clip. And one very useful tool in CapCut is the noise reduction. This helps you reduce the noise in the background. And the other one is the enhanced voice. And I love to use this. This helps you create better sounding audio. And when this is checked and you can toggle this on to as high as you want, it helps your audio to sound much cleaner. So I use it often. So, you know, definitely check it out. Next, we're going to talk about transitions. Any transitions in between your clips can help your videos flow better. So to use transition, all you got to do is come to the transition tab. And there are so many transitions that you could choose from on here. You could browse through the categories. So these are the trending, these are the overlay type, movements, and you have the rest here that you could choose from. So one transition that I like to use often is the left movement. So when you come to movement and go to left and to add a transition, all you need to do is move the playhead to in between the clip and then just come up here and add the plus sign. And when you select the transition, you can adjust the duration. So let's say if you want to make it longer to one second. So that's a slower movement. So you can definitely adjust that into the way that you want. 
Another transition that I like to use often is the old film two. To add it, click the plus or just drag it onto the clip. So that's the transition and I think that has a pretty cool look to it. And I like to use that with a camera shutter sound as you could hear. And when you scroll through the transitions, you may see some with the pro word on it. So these are only available on the CapCut Pro version. So if you want to check it out and get a free trial, it's the first link in the description. Next, we're gonna talk about adding filters and effects. So filter is useful if you want to enhance the color of your video. If you have the skill to color grade your video, you can do it manually at the color adjustment tab on the right hand side. Here you can add the LUTs and when you scroll down, this is where you can play with the adjustments. So temperature, hue, saturation, you can adjust the brightness, contrast, and you can see the rest of the options. These are all adjustable. You can even adjust the curves or use the color wheel. And since this tutorial is a beginner's tutorial, we will not mess with any of these. I'll show you an easy way to adjust the picture of your video. So what you can do is to select the clip, come to filter, and any of these filters that you like, you could just click on it and then drag it onto your specific clip. So that's before and that's after. What you can do is come here, click the filter, and then come to basic. And here is where you could adjust the strength of that filter. So if you want to lower the strength, you can just lower the strength here. Yeah, so CapCut makes it really easy if you want to use any of these other filter. And I'll do another one just for an example. So let's go with enhance, drag it onto the clip. And here is where you can adjust the strength. And to remove the filter, you can just come up here to uncheck the filter box. And next I'll talk about effects. So effects is a great way to help you enhance your video footage. You can explore the different effects on here. Again, there's a bunch to choose from. You can take your time to explore them. To show you a couple examples, if you like the effect, you can simply also just drag it onto the video clip and there you have the effects. And if you want to adjust the effects, you just come to the video clip, click the effects here, and you'll be able to adjust the you know different options of the effects. So the one effect that I like to use often is the rebound swing. Let me show you. So just drag it onto the layer that you want to apply the effects. And the effects are applied to the text layer. So this is what it looks like. So it gives it a pretty cool rebound swing. So another often used effect is to blur the background. I'll show you how to do it. So you just come to the clip, you duplicate it, go to copy, paste it. So you have two of the same clip here. So what you want to do is you come to the top layer, select it, come to cutout, come down to auto cutout, and you let it process. Now it's completed. And then afterwards you can come to the underlying layer, select it, and then go to effects and look for the blur effect. Okay, so you can drag the blur effect to the bottom clip. So now we have the effect that blurs the background. Now, if the blur is too strong, what you can do is come to the clip, click on the effect, and then on the upper hand side here, you are able to turn down the blur. And then if you want to delete the special effect, come click on the effects and then right click on the effect, click delete. Next up is to add music and sound effects. So for music, you can directly import it as a media file. I have a couple clips here. So what you can do, you can just drag it onto the timeline and here you have the music. And to adjust the audio file, you can just click on it and then on the top, you're able to adjust the volume and you're able to adjust the fade in and also the fade out. Another option that you have is to use the audio library that's here on CapCut. They have a decent audio library. You can definitely check this out. But one thing that I would keep in mind is some of these music are copyrighted. So if you're going to post the videos on different platforms, uh, make sure that they are not copyrighted. So I typically don't use the music from here. I used a free resource called freetouse.com slash music. You can get you know pretty good non-copyrighted music on there. The music is free to use as long as you make attribution when you use them. And if you want to take your music to the next level, you can check out Epidemic Sound. That would be a great choice. They have an extensive library of all types of high quality music on there. So you can definitely check that out as well. And for sound effects, you could just come to the sound effects tab. You could also check out all of these sound effects that are available for you to use. Again, just download it and drag and drop onto your timeline. So speaking of sound effects, inside CapCut, you're actually able to record voiceover directly by clicking on this button, this microphone icon. When you click it, you can click this to record. And when you finish the recording, the audio goes directly onto your timeline. Testing, testing, one, two, three. As you can see, the audio file that we just recorded directly comes here to the timeline. 
that's super convenient if you need to record any type of voiceover or if you need to make any audio adjustments to any one of your clips. Next, we're going to talk about adding captions. Adding captions is one of the most tedious thing to do, but not with CapCut. You can use auto caption to generate captions automatically. So just come to text and then come to auto captions and then just press create. Before you do that, if you have any other sound or background music, I would just disable it by clicking the mute clip audio here. And then I would do that before I click create. Okay, so now the captions are generated as you can see here. So to make any adjustments, you can come here, just click one of the caption and come up to the captions tab. And let's say if you want to break them into different lines. So let's say you just want to do maybe two or three words per line. What you can do is just click here, click enter, and this will break into a different line. So for example, if you want to have a new line here, again, same thing, press enter. If you see any mistake, what you can do is just to click on the text, change it here, or you can also come to text. You could also change the text here as well. And next you can customize your text any way that you want. So one good thing to know is when you check this box, apply to all, when you make adjustments to one text box, it applies to the rest of the text box. Now, if you want to just change a specific line or specific word, what you can do is just click this, uncheck the box, and whatever changes you make after you uncheck the box will only apply to this specific line. If you want to change this one word in this sentence, and you can just highlight the word here in the text box, and then you can make that change, and that change will only apply to that specific word. And let's say if you want to add some animation, select the text, come up here to animation, and you're welcome to apply any animation you want. And let's say you want to apply for out animation, same thing, just come to the out tab, and then just select any of the animation that you want. So one very useful tip that I would like to share with you is when you have like different layers or different multiple clips that you want to, let's say move together. What you can do is to highlight them, right click, press group. Now what that does is that it groups all the clips selected all together. So when you move it, it goes together. So I think that's super useful to know. And if you want to take this a step further, what you can do is to highlight it and you can actually combine the clip into one by creating a compound clip. So that's also super useful to know. Last step is when you're happy with your project, you can export the file. By coming up here, press export. You can name your project here, select the path, select the resolution, format, as well as frame rate. And when you're done choosing all the configuration, just come to click export. And then your file will be exported. All right, so I hope this video was helpful. If you want to see more CapCut tutorials in the future or just content that will help you level up your editing, definitely subscribe to the channel as I'm constantly learning and sharing what I learned. And until next time, see you in the next one.